up guys, today we're carrying on with the uh, 4th Harvard Polo Ball. We're going to get the engine and the gearbox together. We've got the, all the stuff for the clutch, we've got the spring, we've got everything. So hopefully today we can get this sucker in and hopefully fire it up. Cross fingers. So we need to first fix that uh, gearbox mounting, um, so I've managed to get uh, an insert for the gearbox, um, so we've got to actually just drill a hole bigger, tap it and then put the insert in, so we're going to have to do that before we can box it together, otherwise it's going to be a battle to try and do it in the top, so let's get busy with that. So we've drilled the holes 11 millimeters um, for the 12 millimeter tap. So what we're going to do obviously is just tap the hole 12 millimeters, and then the insert. The insert is um, the external thread is uh, M12, and then the internal thread is M10 to what we need it to be. So after I tap this hole M12, we're going to screw in the insert and then uh, lock tight it in and then it sh we should be good to go Right, so we've got her in with after a lot of battling. Um, 
but it's finally in. So Valdi's busy with the wiring, pulling the cables through so we can hook this bad boy up. But um, yeah, it's hanging on the engine engine mounts. So we've, uh, we're still busy, there's a lot of temporary wire cabling in here that we've got to sort out but um, the dash is in, um, the, uh, the data logger is in, the switch panel is in but we just, uh, the ECU is installed and we just have a lot of uh, small tightening up to do so um, I'm going to continue with that. What's left to do, uh, we've got the gear linkage, uh, the exhaust we have to bolt up, and then it's all the small things with the water hoses, uh, connect all the electrical uh, connections here, and then effectively bolt the front end on, connect the radiator, put some water in, prime it for oil pressure, connect everything else up, and see if it'll fire up. So. Still a long way to go. Fun times. What is up guys? We are getting very close. We are very close to starting this puppy. How about you? Almost there. Almost there. Run Not us yet. through what we've done so far. Okay, so engine is in, gearbox in, obviously, side shafts in. Um, they were out at some stage for some apparent reason. No one knows why. Um, wiring is done temporarily. Uh, as you can see, it looks um, almost, almost fine. Almost um, OEM. Almost OEM, no. So what we're actually doing now is we've, um, we have installed the coil obviously. Yeah. Uh, we're busy running the leads. So this will just be temporary just so we can test it and see um, if everything functions fine. The new harness will be coming in next weekend. Um, I did a few miscalculations there but anyway, we will make mistakes. So for now we're going to see if we can start this puppy and then uh, see what will happen. Yeah, but what he fails to tell you is actually we first have to fill it up with oil. We're going to fill ah, the yes. box with oil. So that's elementary. Elementary, elementary dear Watson, elementary. <laughs> so we're going to fill it with oil, we're going to crank. Uh, we're actually going to run the oil pump, uh, check for oil pressure. Once we've got oil pressure, we'll crank it over again, make sure we've got oil pressure with the engine. Um, and then, yeah, we will we've got a mate just running out to get us some 95. We'll chuck it in there and then... Um, Give it a crank and see, uh, see if it starts. So um, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, we've got uh, a little filler mechanism, and uh, yeah, so we're going to be filling the gearbox up through there, through that little hole. Ah, and then yeah, basically we're using a little bit on the drill to um, turn the oil pump manually to crank for oil pressure, and then Baldwin will see on the dash if we actually get oil pressure or not, so let's check. She's all running, but uh, we haven't tested her yet, so Baldi's going to have the honors. Okay. Alright guys, so we've finished as much as we can, but it's getting really late, so 
um, we've had to call it. Um, we got the engine in, it's running. We had a lot of small little teething issues, but uh, it's, it's running. The problem we have at the moment is that um, we need to bleed the clutch. And that's quite a process on this car, so it's unfortunately it's getting really late, so we, we're not going to be able to do that. But we did manage to get it running. We've sorted out a bunch of small little problems, um, and it was actually quite a big success because there were a lot of small challenges. But um, yes, yeah, like I said, it's getting late. We'll see. We're going to have to finish this tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. So we're going for our first drive in the car. it for a drive there's a lot of small issues that are still plaguing us um, but that's gonna be pretty much it for this weekend um, we're gonna tighten a few things up for for next week and then uh, yeah hopefully fit the the oil cooler or possibly run it in without the oil cooler at the circuit so we're planning on doing a, a testing session but there's still quite a bit to do before that. We're having an issue with the clutch. Um, it's either the clutch or the linkage, but I suspect it's the clutch, which is really weird because I've just put a brand new clutch in. So it really is super frustrating. Um, worst case scenario, we're gonna have to take the gearbox out and replace the clutch, which is really annoying. But um, I also have an issue with the throttle body. So effectively what's happening is um, it opens, no problem, but it doesn't close 100%. So it opens, it doesn't close properly. See there, it's still got a little gap. So then it ends up idling very high. It's fine if you just flip it, but if you... Uh, just softly on the gas 
So that's that's a problem because then mid corner you're always going to have this push, especially on a front wheel drive. So um, so you can't have that, especially on a front wheel drive car, because you have, really have to wait, uh, be patient with the accelerator, and uh, you can't have it <laughs> mid throttle. I guess is the is the term I'm looking for. But so I'm going to try sort that out. Yeah, and then for the rest. We've just got to work through the issues. I'll speak to the uh, the clutch guys. Honestly, I suspect it's that spring plate. Um, I don't know. I'm going to speak to the guys, tell them kind of what the issue is, and then see. Um, because it, when the car is uh, not running, and then you can then you are able to select first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. However, when it's running, it doesn't want to go into first, second. Uh, you kind of almost have to force it into third and it'll go uh, and same with fourth so um, sounds like clutch yeah so um, yeah pressure plate spring plate kind of thing on these old designs that's what it is so anyway thank you very much for watching it's been a mega episode because we've managed to get a lot done um, but these are the, n the niggly little things so yeah hopefully we can get it sorted out Get it ready for the track day and do some testing, yeah. But uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all your support. If you like this video and others, please consider subscribing. Um, yeah, hit the notification button. We'll see you next time. Cheers.